Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I did some impromptu purchasing. I went to a little local boutique that I love so much and they had some Vera on sale. They also had the new Itsy Ditsy pattern so I did grab a couple of small items in that print. But first I wanna start off this video by thanking Elisa who has the channel Vera Bradley Bag of the Day and also thanking Moni from Vera Bradley Buzz about their pictures that they posted with the Carson cell phone crossbody and how it can fit an ID in both the back slip pocket and the interior slip pocket. I didn't really pay attention to this um, item before, but now that I know that it can fit both your phone, your ID case, even a chapstick or your set of keys, I really, really love it. And now this is just another item from Vera that I think I'd be interested in buying again. I always go for zip ID cases and pattern releases because they're small, they're affordable, um, and they're my everyday wallet. So they're perfect to, to purchase when a pattern first releases and I don't wanna spend a whole lot of money. Um, the Carson cell phone crossbody is very affordable too. So I think this is just another opportunity to you know, find fun pattern placements and knowing that I can use it for my smaller items. So this is the pattern Berry Mary and it was on sale, it was on extreme clearance because I think this came out last year sometime. It's been retired for quite a while. And I thought this is the per perfect opportunity to buy a Carson's cell phone. I think the helicopter just flew over or is flying over. <laughs> Sorry about that, that's pretty loud. Um, yeah, and the pattern Berry Mary. And honestly, I did not pay any attention to this pattern when it came out. I don't think I gave it the slightest bit of interest and I'm honestly not sure why because I think it is beautiful. And these are the only two items that they had left so it was perfect because I was already planning on getting this. I was actually gonna get it in Itsy Ditsy. Um, I didn't see it in Itsy Ditsy but also I didn't really wanna pay full price for one in case I ended up not liking it after trying it myself. So I was really glad that they had this. This was the only one that they had left that was on sale as well. So it gave me an opportunity to explore a pattern that I'm finding that I really, really like. This is just so darling. Just the way everything is illustrated. It's very sophisticated, but also soft. And I just love the different scenes that you get because there are a lot of different scenes with the bears and not just the bears. You get trees, you get logs and you get hairs and you even get a fox which is great so I really like this side here you've got the baby cub on top of the mama bear and you get the nice pops of red from the scarves which I really like and there's the top where you get the bear skiing you get a few more cubs kind of looking at you and I just really love the trees I think the trees are one of my favorite parts of this pattern and I was so excited because I didn't notice this until I got into the car, but I did get a fox on the back. And this is the same fox at, as the fox that's in Foxwood. Um, uh, except, I mean, like illustration wise, except that it's just a different color. It's just white with different shading, but it is the same fox illustration. So that's very cute. And there's the jumping hare. I really like the bear kind of walking away from the scene. And then here is a look at the interior pattern, which is really adorable. So cute. And then here is the placement of the zip ID. Here's the front. And here's the back, which I really like the placement here. And this is the only one that they had. So I was super happy about that. So I immediately got in and decided to try out my phone inside of this. And I am filming with my phone. I would typically film with my tablet, but the past couple of times that I have filmed with my tablet, it has fallen over in the middle of filming. So I have a little bit of a better setup with my phone. So I did take off the pop socket case that I had on my iPhone 11. And then I also have this more streamlined case that I like to use. So these are my two favorite cases. I do have just the regular iPhone 11. There is a smaller iPhone 11 called the iPhone 11 Pro. 
it's got the three cameras on the back and there is a bigger iphone 11 that is called the iphone 11 pro max mine is in between those two sizes and it, if you have an iphone 10 for example it's just a smidge bigger than the iphone 10. so that's what the case looks like here's the size comparison to my hand and here's the size comparison to a zip id so hopefully that gives you a little bit of perspective so the case with the pop socket fits inside of the Carson cell phone crossbody with ease. There are no additional pockets inside. It's just one big slip pocket. You can see my hand fits in there very well. So the case with the pop socket, this one's a little bit thicker, fits in there perfectly. Then we're going to snap that close with the pin snap closure that we have there on the front. And this is the zip ID that I'm currently using. It is the regular iconic zip ID quilted in the pattern Lavender Meadow. It is full of all of my cards, all of my cash, all of my change, my pictures, and even extra items. So this is very thick, as you can see. And it fits inside of the back slip pocket perfectly. And I was surprised. I thought because I have so much stuff in my zip ID case that it would be an issue but it fits perfectly. And I mean perfectly. The little key ring st sticks out nice. And if I wanna tuck that in to make it even safer, I can. And I can even fit my car keys either on that key ring and just have them hanging over like so. Or I could kind of slide them in here with the phone if I can figure out a way to adjust it. I got it to work earlier. No, I don't know if it's gonna work this time. There we go. So that having my keys in the top does make the top just a little bit bulky, but it works. So if those are the three main items that you need to take with you, your wallet, that's a zip ID, your keys and your phone, this is gonna work great. And then with the regular case, this one is a little bit slimmer and smoother than the one with the pop socket so that obviously fits really easily. I also tried it like this. I took my zip ID case and put it in the main pocket. And because it is a little bit shorter, it goes down farther, which makes it easier for me to put the keys right on top effortl effortlessly and snap it closed. And since my phone is a little bit more of a like an item that I'm grabbing more often than my wallet, I wanted to see if it, I could get that to fit on the back slip pocket with the other stuff inside and it does it does stick out a little bit but it still fits so that's good to know and that is the case with the pop socket on the back and the case that is just the slim plastic case fits nicely as well sorry about the the sunlight so I'm really really happy with this I'm so glad that I I uh, took a chance on this because this, again, was an item I was never looking at purchasing because I thought, what am I going to do with a crossbody that just fits my phone? I probably wouldn't wear it that often, but I like that you can, it has dual use. You can also remove the crossbody strap by unbuckling this belt buckle type um, adjuster, and then you can just loop the loose end through those loops there. So very, very easy and simple. So I love this. I'm really excited about it. And I want to thank Elisa and Moni again for showing that you could fit a zip ID inside. So that is the Carson cell phone crossbody and the zip ID in the patterns Berry Mary. So I didn't stop there, unfortunately, for my wallet. And I decided to take it a step further and get the... It's kind of super sunny right now. This is the, I had the tag, and I kind of threw the tag down in here. The Straw Cell Phone Crossbody in Mint Brown Sea Life. And this just retired. It's in the Sea Life line. And it is a nice, soft straw. It's very flexible. It's not rough. There is nothing like sticking out in it that's poking, but it's just very soft. And I think the last time I had a straw bag was probably when I was maybe 10 years old. So it's been a really long time since I've had straw bags. But when I 
and saw that you get a blue version of the pattern sea life on the inside I really wanted to get it so it's gonna be blown out a little bit because of the sunlight unfortunately but hopefully you can get a good look at it right there so you do have the pleather nameplate there are no additional outside pockets you do get a little pleather uh, pull tab and it does zip from here down to here like you can see there and with this one you do get the inside slip pocket so I haven't tested this out yet I do want to see if the phone with the pop socket fits because this is the case that I use more often so I'm gonna put that in the main area I don't know if the ID case is gonna fit with it we're gonna see right now Ooh, it's not fitting let's see if it, the phone fits in the slip okay so the phone fits in the slip let's see okay that did work so I got my phone case into the slip pocket, but imagine it's gonna be, it's gonna have a little more body to it once I actually have the phone into it. So it's gonna weigh a little bit more. And then I got my fully packed zip ID case outside of the slip pocket right next to it. And I could probably throw, I definitely know I could throw my chapstick in here, um, but I could definitely throw my car keys on the top and be good to go. And with this one, you do have a an adjustable pleather strap which I don't mind it's actually really soft because there have been uh, pleather straps from Veer before that have been kind of stiff but this one is really soft so they must have updated it but it is stitched on the back there and I just like it it's such a small cute little package and another reason why I wanted to get one of these is because I've been trying to go on walks more often and I don't the last time I went on a walk, I was carrying my keys in one hand and my phone in the other, which is not ideal because a lot of the um, athletic pants that I have don't have pockets in it. So I think this is going to be this and the, this one, the Carson cell phone crossbody, are going to be perfect companions for me. And you can kind of see the size difference there too. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Love it. So that is gonna work out perfectly for me. There's another look at the inside. So this, this strap, just to let you know, is not removable unless you cut it off yourself. So um, that's also another thing to keep in mind. But I'm so glad I got this, especially I really like the mint brown color, really pretty. So that is the straw crossbody, cell phone crossbody. Ooh, it is a hot day today, I'll tell you. And then the last two items that I got are Itsy Ditsy. So I finally got to see Itsy, Itsy Ditsy in person and it's just as beautiful as I imagined it would be. Absolutely gorgeous. I would buy a bag in Itsy Ditsy, but one, it's not on sale, it is a new release. And two, this is Harry Potter week, y'all. Harry Potter launches this Thursday, July 16, so I'm really excited for that. I don't know what's coming, I don't know in what capacity, I can't really answer too many questions on that because Vera Bradley has been keeping it really hush-hush, but I recommend going to verabradley.com and typing Harry Potter into the search bar and you can find most of the information that they put out on that special page that they made. Um, and if you are interested in the line, I recommend tuning into the website uh, Thursday, July 16. I'm not sure a time. I assume it's probably going to be like a midnight launch, but we'll see. So that's why I did not get a bag in this yet. I do love this pattern and maybe I'll wait for like a really good sale or maybe even retirement depending on, you know, however that works out. But I did really want to get an ID case in it. So this is the regular ID case in the new pattern Itsy Ditsy. And I got to pick from a pretty good variety of different pattern placements. I do think you can't go wrong with the pattern placement on Itsy Ditsy, but I think there are preferable swatches of pattern placement, especially if you're getting a small item. I did notice on two of the ID cases, the pattern was upside down. So the butterflies were upside down, the, the ladybugs were, I mean, this one you can see, which I love that one it's like tilting to the side but on some patterns there were ladybugs that were completely upside down etc 
And honestly, I don't know if that's how the pattern is on some things, but when I saw ones that didn't have that, I was like, okay, that's a little bit strange. Um, but I did get to pick my pattern placement out here. And I will tell you, I this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted the light blue ladybug and I wanted these two yellow flowers with the teal. Those were the main things that I was looking for in this itsy dipsy pattern placement. And I'm really glad that I got it. So with this, you have a really dark, very rich, dark navy background with all of these vintage like pops of colors, including pinks and blues and teals. You've got some mint in there. And then on top of that, you have a wide variety of critters. You have different iterations of butterflies. You've got different iterations of dragonflies, ladybugs, and even bees, which I got a bee. Sorry, it's kind of hard for me to see right here. So I even got a good amount of critters, which I was really excited about. And then here's the front where you can get a look at the interior pattern. Which the interior is adorable. Huh. I thought the the lines were going vertical in this pattern. Maybe I'm wrong because they're horizontal here. Or maybe they did that with their smaller items. I don't know. Huh. That's super cute though. I love the interior pattern as well. I did look at the small viewer tote and I loved it. It even, I mean, I think all itsy ditsy placement is really nice, but it had the, the two yellow flowers like right on the front, which I, I love those yellow flowers. So it was really tempting, but ain't nobody got the money for that. So I left that behind, but I am gonna switch into this ID case as soon as I'm done with the video. So I did just switch to Lavender Meadow the other day, um, which I really, really love this one too. Actually, this is a good time to compare the different ladybugs, huh? Because there's the traditional looking ladybug in Lavender Meadow right there. And then you've got the icy blue one in Itsy Ditsy. Oh my goodness, I just love this pattern so much. It's so cute. So really excited for that. And then I also saw this and there's only one of them and the pattern placement was amazing. And I honestly have been wanting a tape measure for a long time by Vera Bradley. I used to have one, I think in Midnight Blues, but it broke for some reason. And that was re a really long time ago when I used to work um, in a, a specialty retail store. So I decided to pick this one up. And as you can see, you've got the bee and the butterfly on one side. And then on the other side, you have another butterfly. And what's kind of curious about this which is not the same with this one. So on the ribbon zipper pull, it's blank. But on this rib ribbon zipper pull, it's textured and it's got the Vera Bradley signature on it. So that's kind of curious, but I don't know. I just really like it. So I'm super excited about these small, but very happy Vera Bradley purchases. So excited for Harry Potter this week. I don't even know what to expect, but um, it's coming. So I'm really excited about that. So that has been my review on the straw cell phone crossbody in mint brown sea life, the Carson cell phone crossbody in Berry Mary, the zip ID case in Berry Mary, the zip ID case in itsy ditsy, itsy ditsy. I wanted to say itsy ditsy floral, but I think that's the, um, the sort of lighten up version and the tape measure. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day and I hope to see you soon. Bye.